Wave Slayer consists of Maokai and Caitlyn. So, first thing, let's look at the team comps. You have um, you have a double double AD carry, and they have basically a poke, uh, poke siege, and then they have the engage from Malco, and the damage reduction, um, and they have the Lee Sin engage and the getaway from Janna. So, early game, what you want to be looking to do, or should be looking to do, is get the uh, Lissandra ahead in top lane and then what you want to do is get the Annie to up to with Lissandra and then once you donate the blue buff to your Corky you should be able to get the two AD carries uh, pushing ahead should be pushing ahead um, to get their Trinity forces like what are they? so here we can see um, oh, at 155 to 2 minutes they have a lane swap, which obviously you pick up on That's in comms. What needed to have happened though, is that you should have had Annie stay with your uh, jungler, and you, Annie and the jungler should have gone roam. Uh, your AD carry then should have gone bot lane by himself, and you should have either tried to get a 3 man gank in mid, or whenever your uh, jungler finished his initial route, the support then goes all the way up to top lane, uh, and joins top lane. Um, Connor. Connor, if we're just gonna slowly push us in, um, but because I have ignite, we can't kill Malgai. Uh, do, do you think you could go top? Me and Corky? No, no, no. I just, think you should just, just try three man dive Malgai. Yeah, like we can just dive Malgai. I only have Malgai three man dive if he follows the jungler properly. Like he'll. Yeah, he'll if he's like, like level three, yeah, you're, you you can't dive him. Yeah, and and I, I, saw I need just go top. Give the Alright, I'm going to You kinda need Hello but I was level 1 before I left, like I'm top, like, do you think we can do anything? Yeah, Janna, Janna. Go on, Caitlyn, go on, no, 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 Caitlyn, Caitlyn, okay, Janna, Janna, Janna. Oh shit, no, these men. Chunked as well. I'm gonna pink here, Connor. I'm gonna take, I I'm gonna move this. Okay, so you have a really big choice here. Um, with Malko TPing top, you need to decide what you want to do from there on in. So you've got a couple of options. Option one is that you send Lissandra bottom, uh, you send Corgi top, so you keep the lane swap going, which obviously they're trying to avoid. Like the whole reason they put Maokai back up top is to put him back in the 1v1 situation. Uh, so you put Lissandra bot and Corgi top, and then you have Annie roam. Now the thing is, uh, because they've got a Nidley in jungle, they have a Kate AD carry and a Janna support, the Lissandra is going to be at no, like, Sandra's gonna be fine by herself because she's got her E to escape. I'm coming top. Well, thirty, jam flash. Fuck you, okay. I mean, I'm still here. Like, go, Jana. Yeah, he's like doing a race or something. Okay, he's like there. Um, I usually Recall. go Cinder Hulk, but I'm unsure if I should go Warrior or not since I've got four kills. Mm. Do you want to push this into the wave? Into the tower, sorry, dude. I'm going Recall. Mm. Here's something which I'm actually uh, kind of 
sums up your entire week. Um, I, be, I told you for ages to make sure that Blue gets donated to Corky so he could stay in bot lane and you could get the Annie to roam. Um, but here, you know, you give the Blue over to the Ezreal, even though I already said earlier not to. Um, so you've either got to be more switched on or you've got to know how to make the decisions yourself. So with this one, the reason you're giving the Blue over to Corky is that he can wave clear bot by himself against a relatively safe lane. Um, and it means that it frees up Annie and the Eve to start roaming and start pushing into the mid game. I'm running up. Top I'm running up. But I'm not. Uh, oh, it's a spear. Nice. Actually. Might be able to get in Italy. Nah, no, it's too fast. Yeah. Dan is coming up here, so. It takes a lot of effort. Guess it's sorted. We can push this up because everyone's top ended. Oh, can you help them? Care okay, from behind me. Ah, oh, that was really bad of me. I have ignite. I have ignite. We can draw and dive. Uh, do you think we can get her? Yeah. I'm going for an art. So this is like the biggest mistake you keep making, and you make it. You've made it like all the time this week. Is that you'd go for the Drake fight when you're really far ahead, and then yeah. somehow mess up the Drake okay, fight. Um, we'll look at this fight, but also, um, I'll also point out kind of why you shouldn't be going for the Drake in the first place. Um, the problem with you guys trying to do Drake here is that your team is not a team fight comp. Like it is, it's a kite team fight comp. It isn't a kind of full on engage comp. So the fact you here want to put yourselves in the drake pit and around the drake pit it's kind of really questionable um also the positioning that people put on here is kind of really bad to look at that can we clear this car 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 it takes a lot of effort to move like this every spears every spears uh firstly we'll see this here we'll see the positioning from the israel um because he's all the way up here uh, he's cut off from the rest of the team. All the Malkai needs to actually do is, if the Malkai runs straight through down river now, he cuts off the Ezreal. Even if the Ezreal runs down towards his team, he still cuts him off. So the Ezreal needs to actually be in the river and not up this choke point here. So Ezreal obviously runs away. Corky, like, don't know why, does not see him at all. Um, and he's, Corky's right beside the Malkai and the Lee Sin. So there's two engagers on the Corky there. Like, it's just, it needs to be looked at. Okay, so the engage happens, this Corky should back away. The first thing is Annie needs to do is stun up the Malkai uh, to get the Corky out. Now Corky manages to Valkyrie array here um, and gets away. Um, uh, but the Lee Sin follows in, so at this point we should have the Lissandra ult on the Lee Sin to lock him up. Uh, I don't know what Connor does here, like, Connor, you just go complete full retard here, um, and run into, like, three or four of them. So you basically cut yourself off because you didn't also run up ramp with the rest of the team, so you basically are, you're free, free death here. Uh, and the rest of the team run ramp. Now the play at this point for the rest of the team should have been just to back off and give them Drake. Um, but instead you, like, you, you try and still fight this instead of knowing that it's a lost fight. Uh, also, he should be fighting as the team you have, because you are a engaged, or you're not an engaged team. You're like a push, kind of push team, kite team. So this kind of fight for Drake when you're so far ahead is unnecessary. Like you're, I think eight three at this point. <coughs> so you manage to wrestle back control of the Drake, which is fine. Um, and you should have really left it at this point and tried to just heal up and look for something else on the map, or maybe even just go mid and shove down mid again to put pressure back onto them. Uh, but instead you kind of, you all run around to kind of, no one really knows what they're trying to do. Um, and you'll see here, like, Nidley comes in and does a, actually a fairly nice bait. Uh, and none of you really think about the TP that could happen. So Nidley tries to get herself caught out, which obviously everyone comes back in on. Um, and you see here the TP is about to come in. And there, as soon as the TP comes in, like, everyone needs to be just running away at that point. Like, everyone stays and basically they clean up a fight because everyone kind of, no one leaves. People don't realise when the fight's lost. Um, so, we'll see here. Yep, Annie gets picked off. Uh, nice ult from uh, Ezreal. Annie gets picked off. Lissandra, like, tries to follow up. And then instead of going back right towards the brush, she takes the long way round to the left. And, of course, this nice cue from Lee Sin... Recent kills, and then, uh, yeah, and then Lissandra dies. So it's it's basically indecisiveness. Um, 
team fighting just being really bad um, and also not understanding the comp that you're playing which kind of let you, lets you down in a lot of your games in the past couple of days.